This coming weekend is a three-day holiday in Taiwan to mark Peace Memorial Day on February 28th. While it's a vacation for most, for many others, it's also an opportunity to reflect on one of the darkest moments in the nation's history. Let's factor in the numbers as we prepare to mark this watershed moment. This year marks the 75th anniversary of the 228 incident, the worst massacre in Taiwan's recent history. As many as 30,000, mostly local Taiwanese, are thought to have been killed over three weeks, including almost an entire generation of Taiwan's elite. Previously, Taiwan had been a colony of Japan for 50 years, but following the defeat of Germany and the Axis powers, Japan was forced to surrender Taiwan. 228 occurred in the second year of the takeover of Taiwan by Chiang Kai-shek, the leader of the Republic of China, which later lost the Chinese Civil War and retreated to Taiwan. The massacre was triggered on the 27th of February when government officers beat a woman they accused of selling contraband cigarettes. They then opened fire on the surrounding crowd. On the 28th of February, angry citizens marched on the governor's office and were fired on together with innocent bystanders. Riots spread within days across the entire country. Taiwan's six million people had initially embraced the ROC's Nationalist Party, the Kuomintang, as liberators from the Japanese. But endemic corruption brought the country to its knees. The once rich nation, island nation, endured high inflation, unemployment, and was on the brink of starvation. These were the underlying conditions of 228. The incident's scars remain today.